Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Marvish Cuisine. Since we are preparing for Ramadan and we skipped Sari, that's not possible. Today I'm making a keema recipe which you can make for any breakfast or for Sari. And with that I'm sharing a recipe for paratha which is semolina paratha or rava maida paratha. Let's go and make it happen. So first let's start making our parathas. For that I took all first flour in a bowl at salt, sugar and a little bit of ghee or oil. Then I took room temperature milk and then uh, start combining my dough with that. Then I start making dough with the room temperature water until it becomes a smooth dough wall. Then I start kneading it and I knead it for at least 5 to 10 minutes until the dough becomes soft and nice. Then I transfer this dough back to this bowl and cover and then let it, this dough rest for at least half an hour to an hour. Till then we're gonna go and make our kheema. For keema, I took a heavy bottom pan, heat some oil, then I add some chopped onion and start cooking onion until they become soft but doesn't get any color. Then add some uh, ginger and garlic and fry ginger garlic for 2-3 minutes. Then I add some chopped tomatoes. Then cook these chopped tomatoes for at least 4-5 minutes. And then we're gonna season it with some salt, red chili pepper, some turmeric powder and then some roasted and grounded uh, cumin and coriander seeds mix them very well and then add some grounded beef minced meat Then start cooking your meat until it changes its color then cover and let it cook completely until all extra water dries out oil comes on top and uh, your minced meat is completely cooked put this on the side and let's go and make our parathas just take some dry flour and then um, make a smooth dough ball with this um, kneaded dough then flatten this dough ball and sprinkle some dry flour on top of it smooth the edges and now we're gonna roll it until we have a flat smooth roti it doesn't have to be a circle at this point because we're gonna fold it again then uh, drizzle some oil or ghee on top and then spread it all around it with the help of spoon or with the brush then I sprinkle some dry flour all over it and then I'll be sprinkling some dry semolina or suji all over it. Now I will be folding, uh, and I already shared this method with you guys. Uh, this is called Cascadian fan, or like we used to make fan with the paper in school. So we just pick one part and then put it on another part, and then we this way you will get a nice flaky layered paratha, inshallah. So just um, make these layer and then. Uh, Turn it around like a rope, then twist it, pat it down, and then you have a, another dough, twisted layer dough ball. Just do, repeat the same process with the rest of the dough, and then take that uh, layer dough ball again, and repeat the same process. Just flatten the edges with thumb, sprinkle a lot of uh, dry flour, and then start rolling it until you have a nice circled paratha um, roti. And then just sprinkle, uh, just put it on your hand and then sprinkle that extra dry flour and then transfer it on the hot griddle. And then we need to make a paratha with the help of oil or ghee. Just cook the edges until you have a nice golden color crispy paratha. And this semolina paratha is ready to serve. You can see the layers on top. Now dish out your kima and garnish it with some garam masala, sliced ginger, green chilies and chopped cilantro. Now this is how my rava maida paratha or semolina paratha with keema is ready to serve. You can make this keema ahead and serve it for sari. If you want to make the same parathas for sari, just make the dough at night, keep it in the fridge and the very next day you can serve amazing sari to your family. If you're trying this at home, please let me know how it turned out with you. Don't forget to share with the hashtag Ramadan with Morvish. If you want to learn something else, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will try my best to make it happen for you guys. Please remember me and my family in your prayers. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this recipe, don't forget to click on the link to enjoy more recipes like this.